Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit server. Links related to this session are mentioned in the description below. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more, please leave your comments and do subscribe our channel to not miss any further updates. And you are watching lanetigate.net tutorials. Let's see how to download Ubuntu 14.0 64-bit ISO image. After that, we'll see how to install it on hypervisor softwares like Oracle VirtualBox or VMware Workstation or Microsoft Virtual PC, whatever it is. Or on, and also, you can install this on your physical machine as well. So go to Google and check for download Ubuntu 14. 64-bit ISO search for this and here you could see the website called releases.ubuntu.com just open this link here you could see the list of images for desktop as well as server and here we are going to see how to install the server editions so in which for server edition we have two bits one is 64-bit 32-bit and I'm going to download this one all right just right click uh, and save link as and save it in your local desktop or just click this link automatically it will get downloaded all right already i have downloaded and kept in my local drive all right now open your virtualbox software manager whatever it is i i am using oracle vm virtualbox manager if you are using vm or workstation or microsoft virtual pc it doesn't matter the concepts are same okay already I have a VM with some configuration and just go to this settings of this VM and load your ISO image all right under storage here browse for your ISO image what I have kept here is Ubuntu 14 server 64 bit just load this one and go to the system and make your optical drive as the first boot device and just click OK and start your VM. If you are using VMware Workstation or uh, any other hypervisor softwares, doesn't matter. Just go to your VM settings and do the changes because the machine has to boot using your ISO image. All right. And once the VM has got boot using a ISO image you could see the language selection just let it be English as the name says the first one will install the Ubuntu server directly and if you want to install multiple server at a time with mass then you can go over with the option and this is to check your disk having any bad corruptions or not and this is to check your memory errors and this is to not install OS but it will boot from your hard disk and the last one for a recovery purpose in case if your machine having existing OS and not booting on your OS at the time of point you can use this ISO method to recover the broken system all right now we are going to see how to install it go to the first option and just click enter All right, again language selection, let it be the English, just enter and select your location, United States, I just give India and the keyboard layout configuration on this direct keyboard layout, we don't need to direct manually, let it be no. All right, here, let it be the default one, English, US, English, US, that's it, it is just checking your hard to install the OS
what I do it is just showing the list of network cards available on this machine all right it is asking us to choose one of the primary network interface during the installation I just select the first one and now you can enter your host name for this system I just give the name Ubuntu Linux 1 just hit enter and we should ne we need a single user to log into the machine so I just give the full name of the new user and username for that account I just give test1 and password for that user because we need one valid Linux user to log into the machine that's what we are setting up right now now it is telling me that the password what I have used is a weak password you want me to continue or not yes and now this is to encrypt your home directory if you wanted to encrypt just give yes if you don't want just no I just give no now the time zone based on our location it has been selected as a Asia Calcutta if it is yes click yes if it is not then give no but this is correct for me Asia Calcutta so I just give yes now you have these options to partition your disk alright so use the entire disk which means the disk what you have uh, have in your VM will be used for this Ubuntu alright and the second option is to use your complete disk also set up LVM so that you can resize your volume later on and the next one is same to use the entire disk set up the LVM with encrypted format alright and manual partition so that if you give manual then you have to define your partition size how much space you want how much uh, space you want and uh, where it has to be mounted everything you can design it manually alright I just give use enter disk and set up LVM and this is the disk what I have so it is just giving me the list of disk it is directed alright select the disk and just enter it is just giving me the confirmation that do you want me to continue or not it will give you the information if you have existing partitions because I have existing partition so it is giving me the warning that already we have detected some partition do you want me to remove or not so I just give remove that existing volume alright write the changes to disk and configure LVM yes the volume group let it be the default one I just give the complete disk 12.6 GB so enter continue automatically it will detect the size of the disk so again it is just giving me the summary of that partition disk if everything okay just give yes it is creating the file systems copying the data to the disk alright now you have a window to configure the package manager so if you have internet with proxy or if you have a direct internet you can give that proxy information over here alright so that the package manager to update the packages softwares to upgrade so for anything you will not have any issues automatically will get updated so I don't have anything so I just leave this as a bank blank and I just enter it I have internet connection on this VM that's what it is fetching the file
so it started installing the softwares it will take some time depending on your vm speed all right now it is just asking us to ensure whether we need the up package updates and all automatically or we need to do manually so i just give no automatic updates so that i need to install it manually clear so i just give no automatic updates all right now the software selections for in this this vm you are going to give for what are you going to configure web server or are you going to configure for any files ftp servers then you have to select according to that all right i just give i just give open ssh servers and later on i can select any uh, packages after the installation also so i just select only open ssh server after that i left everything back okay so if you want to use this vm for if mail server then select this as well right i don't want right now i just mark only open ssh server and i just enter it so now it is installing the grub bootloader so it is just giving me the confirmation that to ensure it is going to install the bootloader on the master boot recorder so i just give yes this is the bootloader which helps us to boot the os from the hard disk so the installation is completed so if you give continue so finally the installation has been completed so automatically it is going to reboot your machine this is your first screen after the os boot from the disk these are the kernel messages so finally it will take you into the login prompt yes all right so just test one this is the user what we have created and the password you have to enter all right we have logged into the machine so this is how we install ubuntu 14 lts 64 bit server edition if you find this video is helpful please do appreciate our effort and leave your comments and share with your friends about us once again thanks for watching this video